So archaeology is one of the most fascinating sciences that we have today. Many of us have a deep desire to know things about the past, such as where we came from and what societies existed before us. And every time that archaeology discovers an artifact from the past, we learn more about our history. But sometimes the things that are discovered raise just as many questions as they do answers, either because they boggle the minds of modern day scientists or because they were thought to be a myth entirely. So this week, I'm going to present you with some of the most amazing finds ever made. So here they are, the 10 most incredible archaeological discoveries in history. Number one are the gates of hell. In 2013, a team of archaeologists discovered an ancient cave called Pluto's Gate, more commonly known as the Gate to Hell. This legendary cave was described in Greco-Roman mythology as the portal to the underworld and was thought to be a myth until now. The cave was guarded by two marble statues, each depicting a symbol from the underworld, one being a snake and the other being Cerberus, the three-headed watchdog of hell. The cave itself is filled with lethal vapors that will kill anyone who inhales them, exactly as described by the ancient Greek geographer Strabo thousands of years ago. But don't worry, this isn't actually the entrance to hell. How do I know? Because that's not where I put it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not the devil. Number two is the Tomb of the God King. In 2013, archaeologists in Turkey discovered an underground pyramid-shaped tomb that belonged to King Antiochus, who was known as the God King. King Antiochus was the ruler of the ancient kingdom of Comagene thousands of years ago and was known for being worshipped like a god. The tomb was part of a magnificent religious sanctuary at the peak of Mount Nemrut where he was ultimately laid to rest. With more time and exploration, archaeologists may be able to tell us more about the God King and hopefully Hopefully that he was a kind ruler because god kings don't exactly have the best rep. They usually try to dominate the world and then you have to kick their messenger into a bottomless pit while screaming like a nut job. It's just a big mess. Number three is the Lycurgus Cup. The Lycurgus Cup is a 1600 year old goblet whose origins are unknown and is jade green but appears blood red when lit from behind. Why this happens has baffled scientists for decades until recently when broken fragments of it were analyzed revealing something amazing. It was discovered that the glass in the goblet was infused with particles of silver and gold as small as 50 nanometers. That's less than one thousandth the size of a grain of table salt. The reason that this is so incredible is because it means that the Romans were pioneers of nanotechnology far before we ever used it in today's world. To this day, scientists still do not fully understand the process used to create the goblet, which must be embarrassing because the Romans didn't even have a fraction of the technology that we have today. Modern day science, time to up your game, player. Number four is the birthplace of Buddha. In 2013, archaeologists in Nepal discovered the birthplace of Buddha and therefore the origins of Buddhism itself. While excavating the sacred Maya Devi temple in Lumbini, a research team discovered a timber structure under a series of brick temples dating all the way back to the 6th century BC. What's fascinating is that the structure has an open space in the middle of it as well as evidence of a tree shrine which supports Buddhist mythology that Buddha's birth took place under a tree. See, this is what I love about Buddhism. There's evidence and everything just makes sense, unlike some of those other theistic religions. Except the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, because that's just awesome. All hail his noodly appendage. Number five are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Discovered in a cave on the shore of the Dead Sea between 1946 and 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls consist of 972 biblical manuscripts. The texts, written mostly on parchment, are the earliest survival surviving copies of biblical documents in existence, dating over a 700 year period around the birth of Jesus. The scrolls are written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, and are believed to have been authored by the ancient Jewish sect, the Essenes. If you're a religious person, especially Jewish, this is an astounding find. And even if you're not, you have to find it fascinating that these scrolls survived for over 2,000 years. Now let's all move on before the fighting starts in the comments. I'm already too late, aren't I? Number six is Pompeii. Pompeii was an ancient Roman city that was completely buried by a massive volcanic eruption in 79 AD, where it was lost for nearly 1700 years until it was unearthed again in 1599. In 1863, major excavations began on the city by Italian archeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli, where it was discovered that the volcano not only destroyed much of the city, but also perfectly preserved much of it as well. In fact, large bubbles were discovered in the volcano 
volcanic mud that turned out to be perfectly formed molds of the men, women, and children that died there. The process in which they were buried is called a pyroclastic flow, meaning that they were instantly encapsulated in a speeding current of smoldering hot gas and rock. Yeah, not exactly a pleasant way to go. Number seven is the Cave of Altamira. Discovered in Canterbury, Spain in 1879, the discovery of this cave forever changed the world's perception of prehistoric human beings. On the inside walls of this cave were several drawings of wild mammals dating all the way back to the Paleolithic age around 2.6 million years ago. The reason that this was so astounding was because up until that point, it was believed that prehistoric man lacked the intellectual capacity to produce any kind of artistic experience. Expression. Interestingly, this cave was accidentally discovered by amateur archaeologist Marcelino Sanz de Saltola, led by his 12 year old daughter. Wow, that is one smart kid. Discovering prehistoric drawings? When I was her age, I was playing Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I regret nothing. Number eight is the Terracotta Army. In 1974, a group of farmers in China discovered a chamber containing the final resting place of Qin Shi Huang, the very first emperor of China. But what was most impressive is not that they found his burial chamber, but what was inside the burial chamber. Inside the burial chamber were 8,000 life-sized clay soldiers, 130 chariots, and 150 separate horses, all dating back to over 2,200 years ago. It's it's believed that the soldiers were buried with the Emperor with the purpose of protecting him in the afterlife and to this day remains one of the most spectacular man-made sites in the world. That being said, am I the only one that wants to play the world's most expensive game of dominoes with these things? Think about it. Number 9 is the Mount Owen Moa. In 1896, a group of archaeologists discovered the claw of a bird while digging down into a cave in New Zealand. After some analysis, it was determined that the claw, which still had muscles and flesh attached to it, belonged to a wingless bird called the upland moa that went extinct hundreds of years ago. The upland moa was a tiny bird unlike its much larger cousin the moa which could reach a height of 3.6 meters and weighed up to 230 kilograms. Could you imagine discovering a moa foot with flesh still attached to it? I would not stick around because that bird had some badass claws and something killed it and that something could still be in the cave so yeah. You best be leaving. And number 10 is the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone was discovered in 1799 in Egypt by a soldier of Napoleon and to this day remains one of the most important artifacts ever found in human history. But the importance of the stone relies not on what was written, but how it was written. The stone contains a decree from a king written in three separate languages, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, ancient Greek, and Demotic. Until its discovery, the art of reading or writing hieroglyphics had been lost for almost a millennium, but using the Greek text, scholars were not only able to decipher the hieroglyphics, but also greatly improve our understanding of Demotic as well. One of the most important artifacts in history, and you probably thought the Rosetta Stone was just a computer program to help you learn Spanish better. Estoy decepcionado. Por favor, subscribete. And that's all for this video, guys. Keep in mind, as always, these were just the top 10 archaeological discoveries I personally found most intriguing, but there are many, many more out there, so I encourage you to Google it and educate yourself. If you enjoyed this video and learned yourself a little something, share this video on Facebook and Twitter and give that like button a click, and I will see all of you back here next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace. Throw me the whip! Throw me the idol. Hey guys, thanks for watching my new video. If you'd like to see future videos from me, remember to click the big red subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. I release a new video every Saturday. And if you'd like to add me to Facebook or Twitter or Vine or Snapchat, the links to those will be in the description along with a link to check out my second channel. And I will see you all back here next weekend with a brand new video. Have a great weekend. Bye.